One aspect that could be very useful uh, when you're starting to deal with these multidimensional arrays is a concept known as a numeration. Now, big, fancy $5 word, the entire idea to this is creating variables that are just representing your particular values. And what I mean by that is we're dealing with distances from one city to the next. But as you can sort of see here, we don't have that going on anywhere. So if I were to cheat, and let me just do some that for a second. If we were to cheat, I could come in and start giving values to each one of those indices uh, in our case. So for example, something like Chicago, that's the zeroth row of my uh, sort of distance table. So I would just make a Chicago variable. Uh, and then I could do the same for Boston and New York and Atlanta and then Miami. That's how you say it, I know. Uh, Dallas and Houston. Okay, so why would we want to do this? Again, it's now that instead of referencing just the variable or the index number, what I could do in this case is now that I've built those uh, points or those variables, I could, instead of saying four here, I could actually say, oh, well, I wanna know the location from Miami to New York, New York. And I should still see the same value, 1549, but now I'm just working off of variables that, again, I'm never going to change, but they, they can help serve as just more explanative. They offer a more explainable meaning to what the variables are referencing. So again, Miami, we know that that is always going to be at the fourth location either on the row or a column so we can work off of that.